The objective of today training are What is SMW or MMW or stick welding? Understand the process principle and equipment. Understand different parts of the process and equipment. Understand the functions of the electrode wire, coating and slag. Know how the electrode classification system work. Understand the polarity in SMW welding. Know the advantages, limitations and application of this more. Identify the SMW process variables which control the process. Understand the requirements for the electrode storage and conditioning. SMW stands for shielding metal arc welding. This term is used in Canada, America, other countries except UK. It is also called MMW or manual metal arc welding. This term is used in UK. Other names stick electrode welding or commonly known as electrode welding or manual welding. These are non-standard name used commonly in the world. Heat for welding is generated by an electric arc established between flux covered consumable metal rod electrode and the workpiece. During electrode melting, the coating burns and produces gaseous shield which protect the electrode tip, welding puddle and highly heated workpiece from atmospheric contamination. Here an example of small welding machine is shown. The electrode holder and earth clamp is connected to the power source. Electrode are kept in the portable holding oven. Let's understand the principle of this process. Here as shown the welding machine is connected to the main power supply. As we switch on the machine and touch the electrode to the base metal, the arc generates. A basic arrangement of small is shown in the picture. A basic arrangement of small is shown in the picture. Now, let us understand what happened at the welding zone. Here one and two are the part of welding electrode, one is the loading and two is the base metal. Three shows the shielding gases which got generated due to the burning of the coating. Four is the weld pool, five is the base metal. Six is the solidified weld metal and seven shows the slag. As we can see in the right hand size video, the molten metal is being transferred to the weld pool in the form of small driplet. The shielding gases are visible too which are produced by the burning of the coating elements. Red molten area shows the weld puddle. Please take a look to feel the material transfer taking place in the video. Now let's understand the various parts of the shielded metal arc welding process. First one is the power source. Small power source are constant current characteristics CC types. Welder set the current on the machine and voltage is controlled by the arc length which welder control. As we can see in the welding machine there is only one no for the current adjustment. Voltage regulation is taken care by the welding machine automatically. Here a constant current curve is shown. We can see that as the arc length increase, the voltage increase in a higher value. But there is only slight change in the current. Similarly, when the arc length decrease, voltage decrease but still the change in current is minor due to this characteristics. Take a look on the pictures to understand the changes occurred. Next is the welding electrode. It assess a consumable as it gets melted during the welding process. ITSS composed of two parts first core rod which carries welding current and becomes part of the weld. Second is the flux coating which produces a shielding gas. And can provide additional filler. It also forms a slag, protect weld, help slow cooling of the weld. Coating also add alloying elements. It also helps for the arc stability. Common lengths available for the welding electrodes are 350 and 450 mm in the market. And the diameters available are 2.5 mm, 3.15 mm, 4 mm and 5 mm in the market. Next is welding arc. An arc occurs when the electrode comes in contact with the workpiece and completes the circuit like turning on a light. The electric arc is established in the space between the end of the electrode and the work. The arc reaches temperatures of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit which melts the electrode and base material. 
Here different types of welding arc is shown for small. A long arc mean high voltage. And short arc mean low voltage. Next is welding puddle. As the core rod, flux coating, and work pieces heat up and melt, they form a pool of molten material called a weld puddle. The weld puddle is what a welder watches and manipulates while welding. Next let's see the shielding gases. A shielding gas is formed when the flux coating melts. This protects the weld puddle from the atmosphere preventing contamination during the molten state. Next is solidified weld metal. As the molten weld puddle solidifies, it forms a joint or connection between two pieces of base material. When done properly on steel, it results in a weld stronger than the surrounding base metal. Let's see slag. Slag is a combination of the flux coating and impurities from the base metal that float to the surface of the weld. Slag quickly solidifies to form a solid coating. The slag also slows the cooling rate of the weld. The slag can be chipped away and cleaned with a wire brush when hard. Next let's understand the polarity in the shielding metal arc welding. In shielded metal arc welding there are two types of polarity. One, direct current electrode negative and two, direct current electrode positive. Direct current electrode negative or called straight polarity is shown here in the figure. Electrode holder is connected to the negative terminal while the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal. Here more heat liberated in positive pole. And electrode melts off slower thus results in less deposition efficiency. Next. Next let's understand reverse polarity or direct current electrode positive polarity also called DCAP here workpiece is connected to the positive terminal hence the name called. And workpiece is connected to the negative terminal. Due to high heat at the electrode, electrode burn off faster and result in high deposition efficiency. Due to high heat of melting, depth of penetration also increase. Next, let's see the SMW equipment setup. To set up the welding machine. 1. Turn power supply on 2. Connect work clamp. 3. Select electrode based on its type and diameter. Then adjust output based on polarity and amperage. Next insert electrode into electrode holder and initiates the arcing. Now let's understand the SMW process variables. The variables are classified in two types. First is the welding machine variable. Which are 1. Polarity either DCAP or DCAM. 2. Current in ampere. Second variables are the variables controlled by the welder. Which are 1. Is work angle 2. Is travel angle. 3. Is arc length 4. Is travel speed. This has to be noted that AC machines have not a polarity like DC machines. Here in this picture influences of welding variables in shielded metal arc welding is shown. Please, please take a look and get familiar with the effects. Here we will know how to start the arc in the SMW. To begin the small process, you must first strike an arc. This can be done using one of the following techniques. Scratch start. Scratch the electrode on the base metal like a match. Tap start. Tap the rod against the base metal. Here electrode angle is shown for single run weld and multi run weld using the shielded metal arc welding process. Here electrode angle is shown for single run weld and multi run weld using the shielded metal arc welding process. Now let's understand the electrode classification system. By knowing it we can know the properties of the welding electrode such as its tensile strength, type of coating, welding position, 
types of current, penetration profile etc. Here in this example, it's shown for E6011 type electrode. Here E stand for electrode. Next two digits that is 60 is stand for the strength in KSI. Next digit 1 mean, the electrode can be used in all position. Last digit tell us the type of coating, type of welding current we can. Here one mean cellulose potassium and this electrode can run on a C, D, C, P and D, C, E and polarity, this electrode will give deep penetration. Here other example of famous electrode E7018 is given. Please have a look and try to decode it. If you want to see the old types of electrode, their properties you can find in OSME section 2C. Here most common used electrodes with their properties are given for the viewer reference. Please have a look on each and understand their uses. Next let's know the imp Next let's know the important points regarding the electrode handling and storage. 1. Store electrode in suitable conditions and away from high humidity and moisture. 2. Never use wet electrode as they will produce porosity and other welding defects. 3. Never use electrode with damaged coating. 4. Never keep cellulose electrode in holding oven. 5. Low hydrogen electrode are very critical for moisture absorption. 6. Store the electrode in holding oven after removing from the packets. 7. Never mix different types of electrode in portable oven. 8. For any abnormality in electrode, must inform to the welding supervisor. Some electrode after opening from their packing must be ensured to properly baked and kept in the holding oven to keep them free from moisture. Low hydrogen, rutile and basic type coating types electrodes should be baked and kept in holding oven. Cellulose types are exception and must never be baked. Portable ovens are used to keep electrode warm at the welding site. Let's see how we can choose the welding current. We can choose current based on the manufacturer recommendation or follow this thumb rule. To get a current for a given diameter electrode, multiply the diameter with 30 or 40. The obtained value can be used as lower and higher range for that given diameter. Another thumb rule shown is for finding the arc length. This table here shows the range of current for various important welding electrodes that can be used as reference. Next let's see the limitations of the SMW process. These process has 1. Less deposition 2. Frequent start-stop points 3. Need for slag removal 4. Unusable stubs add to waste of material 5. Less productivity 1. These are the major applications of the shielded metal arc welding, can be used for welding of most of the materials. For example, carbon steel, stainless steel, copper, nickel alloys, cast iron etc. 2. Good to use for field welding. 3. Portable as no external shielding required. 4. Cheaper power source and equipments. 5. Produce radiographic quality weld deposits. 6. Used for hard facing, overlay. 7. Good to use for maintenance works. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel and stay updated for the new learning videos. Please your your valuable comments and suggestion in the comments section. Kindly like the video if you found it useful.